In today's video, we're gonna go through all of the methods for EV training your Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. Now, EV training, EV stands for effort values. Every single Pokemon can have 510 effort values with a maximum of 252 EVs in one particular stat. Now, how you distribute these 510 EVs throughout your six stats of your Pokemon is entirely up to you. What an effort value or an EV will give you is every four EVs that a Pokemon has, it will increase a single stat point in the respected stat that you're training. So for maximizing the potential of your Pokemon and its stat for competitive use and battles, it's a pretty important thing. But how do you do this in game? So there are two ways to EV train your Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can either battle Pokemon and every time you battle a Pokemon, knock it out or catch it. All of the Pokemon in your team will receive an effort value based on the Pokemon that you've knocked out. Each different Pokemon in the wild will give you a certain EV tied to one of the six stats that your Pokemon has. So for instance, if you knock out this Flamigo here, you will get two EVs in attack. Some other Pokemon will only give you one EV in attack. So to max out your EVs in attack, you're gonna have to knock out a lot of these Flamigos. But there are options to help you speed this process up. If you come to somewhere like Mesagoza or one of the other main towns in the Paldea region, you'll be able to visit the Chansey supply stores. Now these are pretty easy to locate in the major towns around the Paldea region. If you go in, zoom in on your map, you'll be able to see where these places are. The Chansey supply stores are pretty important because they do sell vitamins, which is another quicker way to EV train your Pokemon. You'll be able to notice they all look the same. So you're gonna, once you've found one, you'll be able to locate others around the region. They look exactly like this. They'll have a big Chansey poster on their window. When you go inside the Chansey supply stores, you can have the option to buy HP ups, proteins, iron, calcium, zinc, and carbos. HP up does exactly what it says. It gives you a boost to HP EVs, protein is attack, iron is defense, calcium is special attack, zinc is special defense, and carbos is speed. Now each one of these vitamins will give you 10 EVs per item. So to maximize your HP stat, you're gonna need 26 of these, cause that's 252. If you get 25, it'll take you to 250. You'll need that extra two to max out the HP in a Pokemon stat. And this can be applied to all different stats. So if you want attack and speed, you want 26 protein, 26 carbos, and you'll have four remaining EVs to make up to that 510. You can buy then whatever remaining vitamin to max out additional stat points. The only issue with the vitamins is they are very expensive. To maximize the EVs on one single Pokemon just through vitamins, it's gonna cost you 530,000 points. So to maximize a full team of six Pokemon's EVs through vitamins, it's going to cost you 3,180,000 Poké Dollars, which is not the kind of money that everyone has in these games, especially with the methods that we've got for money farming. Now, thankfully, there is another cheaper option of EV training in these games. Like we've mentioned before, you can get EVs from battling wild Pokemon. And there is an item that will help you increase the speed when you are doing this. Now, in Mesagoza, you want to have a look for the Deli Bird Presents store. Items that we're going to get are available from the very start of your playthrough. When you're in Deli Bird Presents, you want to come to General Goods. And in this list, if you come right down to the bottom, you will see the items, the power weight, the power bracer, power belt, power lens, power band, and power antlet. Now what these items do, when held, they will give you a boost of EVs specific to the stat that they're tied to. So if your Pokemon is holding the power weight, it will give you eight additional EVs in that stat whenever you knock out a Pokemon. For instance, if you knock out a Chansey, that gives you plus two EVs in HP, but the Pokemon you have in the party are all holding the power weight, they'll all receive an additional eight EVs, meaning that the overall EVs that you will receive from that Chansey after you've beat or caught it will be 10. Cutting down the time that you're gonna need, maxing out the EVs in that HP stat, as well as the number of Chansey that you're gonna have to beat. The Power Bracer gives you a plus eight boost in attack. Power Belt gives you a plus eight in defense. Power Lens gives you a plus eight 
in special attack, power band gives you plus 8 EVs in special defense, and the power antlet gives you a boost of 8 EVs in speed. These items obviously cost 10,000 poker dollars each. The one way to speed up EV training is if you've got a bunch of Pokemon and you can afford more than one of the power items, is to fill your whole party with Pokemon that you'll be training in that specific stat. Here we've got a bunch of Pokemon Tauros, Great Tusk, Tinker Tough, Tyranitar, and Anelip that we all want to train their attack EVs. So it makes sense to do this all at one time. So for every one Pokemon that we beat, as long as that Pokemon has given us plus two EVs in attack, with the power braces attached, we'll be getting 10 EVs in attack for each of these Pokemon every time we knock that specific enemy Pokemon out. There are also six items that you can use to reduce EVs. So if you put EVs in a Pokemon that you don't want it to have by mistake, or just if it's something that you've used through your playthrough that you're later on wanting to change those EVs, maximize them out, you can use these berries that are available in and around the Paldea region. If you want a specific location with where these berries are found, we did a guide here on the channel i'll link it up in the top right hand corner now and you can check that out after this video every one of these berries will reduce a pokemon's ev in a particular stat by 10 points so just like the vitamins will give you 10 evs you can use these berries to remove 10 evs the pomeg berry reduce a pokemon's hp evs by 10 the kelpsy berry will reduce attack by 10 qualip berry will reduce defense by 10 honju will reduce special attack Grepper will reduce special defense and the tomato berry will reduce speed by 10. So these are really useful items. I would recommend if you are EV training to go out and try and get a bunch of these. And these are easily available item drops around the region. The next important place is Lavincia Town. There is an NPC character in this area of Lavincia. She will look like this and she will be the effort value rater. She'll tell you if a Pokemon has got maxed out effort values, EVs, and if it has, then you will get an effort ribbon. As you can see here, we know as a Titan that we've trained up already has maxed out EVs, so we should get the effort ribbon. So if you wanna come and just double check in game that your EVs are maxed out, you can come to this screen and then you can toggle the L button on this summary screen here and it will show you if a stat is maxed out, it will have the sparkly stars around it, showing it around it. And you will see that the EV chart will be maxed out in those areas as well towards HP and attack, which is exactly what we've got into Titan. Now with the basics down, I'm gonna show you six locations around the Paldea region where you'll be able to EV train your Pokemon most effectively. And all of these Pokemon that I'm going to list now are going to give you plus two EVs in each stat that they're related to. Now, the first area we're going to visit is to concentrate on HP EV training. We're going to head to the North Province Area 3. From the Pokemon Center, you want to just come down to this area just in front of you where the grassy area begins. And in this area, you will find Chansey, which is the Pokemon that will be hunting to specifically train our HP EV. Every time you knock out one Chansey, you will receive two HP EVs. So if you attach the power item to the Pokemon and then defeat a Chansey, you'll receive 10 HP EVs for every Chansey you will beat. Meaning you'll only need to beat 11 Chanseys to max out your EVs and HP to 252. If you come to this area and you're having difficulty finding Chansey, you can always put down a sandwich and this will increase the encounter power of a particular type, i.e. normal and increase Chansey spawn rates in this particular area. The same method that you would use for experience farming can be used here and you can do this to really speed up the effectiveness of being able to beat the number of Chansey you need for the team members you've got that you're EV training for HP. The best area for training attack is going to be in the South Province Area 1. You'll be able to locate it here on your map just around these three bodies of water. You're gonna be looking for Flamigo, which is a very popular Pokemon around this area. And each time you beat a Flamigo, you will receive two EV points. So if you're stacking that with the power items, then you will be getting 10 EVs per Flamigo that you beat, meaning that a whole party of six Pokemon with six power items held is gonna be very easy to train in attack EVs. 
in the East Province Area 3, you will want to look for Rolly Coley and Carl Cole to boost defense EVs. Rolly Coley will give you one defense EV, where Carl Cole will give your team two defense EVs. So these are the more optimized ones for speeding things up, especially if you're attaching a relevant defense power item. The next location is going to be in the North Province Area 2, and this is to train up our special attack. There is a specific place you can come where gold ducks spawn in abundance. Now, Golduck will give your Pokemon every time you beat it plus two in special attack. So this method to train up special attack EVs very quickly is one of the best methods that we've got available in the game currently. Special attack is probably the easiest EV to train because you're not needing to set sandwiches up to get these spawns here. There are going to be an abundance of Golduck in this area and you're going to be able to just come here anytime they'll respawn over and over and you're going to be able to max out your EVs very quickly. As you can see here, we are located right here on the map and this is in North Province Area 2 and by just defeating Golduck, like I say, you can see how many there are here now. You can just come knock them out, put the relevant power item on your Pokemon that you're wanting to train in special attack EVs and each time you knock out a Golduck, you'll get 10 special attack EVs. The next location on the map I'm going to recommend is coming to Lake Casaroya and this will be to train special defense EVs. The Pokemon that you're going to specifically be looking for is Altaria who will award two special defense EVs and Swablu who will award one special defense EVs. Combined with the power item, you'll be able to get 10 special defense EVs for beating an Altaria and you'll get nine special defense EVs for beating a Swablu. The next area you're going to want to come to is this particular island in the East Paldean Sea. This is just east of Lavincia Town and on this island you're going to find Wattrolls and Killer Wattrolls. These Pokemon will give you speed EVs when you defeat them. Wattrolls will give you one speed EV upon defeating or catching them and Killer Wattrolls will give you two speed EVs when you defeat them in battle. These specific Pokemon are abundant in this area. You'll be able to come here and battle them and train your speed EVs up very quickly. Now it is worth noting that if you use the auto battle feature, it will not give you EVs. You have to engage in a battle with these Pokemon to obtain EVs. It will not work with the auto battle feature. And also Polkorus is not something that is available in these games. So unlike other games where you could get Polkorus, you would actually double the amount of EVs you would receive from a battle with a wild Pokemon, this is no longer anything that we can take advantage of in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I hope you found this guide useful friends. EV training is something that can be very quick, very expensive though with vitamin training, but there are also much cheaper ways to do it. And with these locations that I pointed out around the Paldea region, with all of these plus two distributing Pokemon that you got access to, as well as many others, these are just a few of my favorite locations where I've been going and training my Pokemon which I hope will be useful for you. So if you found this video useful, please drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coverage here on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. If you've got any questions, drop them down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.